Hello, my name is Emma Weekly, and today I'm, I am discussing the Unit 2 discussion post, and today is March 19th, 2024. The concept of virtual nursing rever refers to the use of technology, such as artificial intelligence or virtual assistance, to provide healthcare services and supports. Like any technological intervention, this concept has both positive and negative aspects. Virtual RNs can support the team at the bedside to alleviate the workload and provide greater satisfaction for both the patients and the nursing staff. Here I use um, the reference Ball 2022. It allows nurses who do not want to leave the workforce but have lots of experience and knowledge an opportunity to create a career with a, with a less physical demand. Other positive aspects include 24-7 availability, health education, and a reduction of healthcare work workforce strain. There are also negatives to this concept, which is the fact that there are patients who come from rural and low-income areas along with older adults who may not have access to reliable internet, wireless service, smartphones, or computers. Um, I used the reference during 2022. The elderly may also not be comfortable enough or know how to use technology required to access telehealth services. Some patients may not benefit from telehealth due to medical conditions that need to be handled at a hospital or looked at upon physical examination. Other cons include lack of human connection, job, job displacement, and privacy and security concerns. Telehealth or telemedicine is defined as the use of telecommunication devices for remote delivery of medical care, as well as using medical information that is exchanged from one site to another through electronic communication to improve a patient's health. Telehealth barriers may be technical, cultural, financial, and regulatory. For example, some of the technological barriers include access to technology, the internet, low bandwidth, and scheduling across different time zones. Uh, the reference I use here is Hardy 2024. Establishing a strong relationship between a patient and their provider may be challenging through virtual interconnect interactions than it would be facing than it would be face to face. Despite several barriers to telehealth, there are several advantages of telehealth in low resource settings, including flexibility and scheduling. Enhanced access to supervision and consultation and allowing patients to schedule appointments without difficulty. I use the resource Hardy 2024 here again. Telehealth can also help reduce exposure to infections by reducing the need for in-person visits to healthcare facilities. The National Academics of Science Engineering and Medicine, or NASEM, reported that overall population growth and increases in the population of older adults are likely to increase demand for nurses and regions that already have fewer nurses, such as rural areas are likely to continue to experience shortages from the future. I use Sanford at L 2023 here. In 2021, researchers found that younger nurses have a higher rate of leaving the workforce. Virtual nursing can help fill that void that hospitals face with the nursing shortage by allowing experienced nurses to operate virtually. For older nurses who may have health care challenges the, that make the physical demands of working on a hospital unit difficult, working as a virtual nurse may enable them to prolong their career and continue to provide high quality nursing and mentoring. Sanford et al. 2023. Telehealth brings the promise of real time collaboration, consultation, and supervision with health care providers and understaffed difficult to reach in remote areas, Hardy 2024. Virtual nurses and telehealth are the future of the medical world and both bring valuable advantages for both the providers and the patients. And that is all I have. Thank you for listening.